Something's going away as always, everybody. And what's going away is True Lies. True Lies, a television show. That's right. They did one season. Remember we announced this not too long ago. They were having a new season coming out. Well, the season came out. And it's like a fart in the wind, apparently, everybody. Because apparently it is CBS's lowest ranked scripted series of this season. And Mm -hmm. they're like, eh, well, I mean, we don't have Arnold Schwarzenegger or Jamie Lee Curtis in there. Both friends of the show, I would say. But we don't have them in here. So... It didn't do well, unfortunately. Of course, this follows a suburban housewife who discovers her computer consultant husband is really a skilled international spy. And then their marriage is kind of rocky, but by being spies together, you know, they rectify that shit, of course. This is James Cameron's movie back in 1994, and that was a huge hit, but this apparently was not. But I'm just saying, it seems like it could be a good premise for a TV show, but do we really need, you know, do we really need this, like a true lies TV show? It was when the Americans did it. (laughs) That was a good show. <laughs> that's, well, true. that's right. It's true. That's true. It was pretty much Americans. You're probably right. Yeah. 100%. I mean, they, were, they, were, they were Russian, as I recall. <laughs> I mean, I, I definitely didn't watch that show, but I know it did very well and it was on for was a long good, time. Yeah. It was, you know, they had, it was a husband and wife it, spy situation. There were, there were a lot of wigs yeah. involved, which I think were popular with, at least in my household. <laughs> <laughs> I love but that. But this, this, I mean, I get it. I get the try for it and they did a season, you know, but honestly, end of the day, people weren't buying it. People weren't no looking one cares. For it, you know? Nobody cared apparently. Well, some people care. So there's going to be some people out there. I guarantee if you're watching this now, there are going to be some people that are bummed, but I would say the majority of people, you know, didn't really come out to watch it. So unfortunately, make, make some t-shirts, go, go hang out at the picket lines with water, start whispering <laughs> rumors around. Things can change in that town. I just believe. And maybe it'll come back. Just, it just happens all the time. Believe. Just believe. We talked about how it happened not too long ago with SWAT. SWAT was supposed to be canceled. Mm -hmm. And they had a whole thing on the weekend, tweeting, renegotiating, and all that shit. And then SWAT's coming back for last season. It happens. I like that Ginger uh, Ginger Gonzaga, I think her name is, the girl who's on She-Hulk. She was the the wife. Yeah. Oh, she's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I really like her. So I'm kind of – I'm bummed for her. Um, I'm not super familiar with the guy on there, but – in researching today, I read an article where, you know, she said she didn't want to do the show. She turned it down a couple of times and then oh. um, it kept coming back to her. And so she went in and did the chemistry read with uh, the guy. Steve who Howie. So sorry. I, thank you. I'm so, I was like, I don't know his name. I feel terrible. Um, so she did the chemistry read with him and she apparently like her, her thing is when she does chemistry read, she kind of goes off the cuff a little bit and does a little improv and playing around. And he like was picking up what she was putting down and they got along oh, nice. really, really well. And uh, so that that changed her mind. She was like, I really want to work with this person. I'm excited about it. And so I'm, I'm sad that that it's, you know, for them, I'm sad because that's really, you know, as an actor, it's really nice to have that um, relationship with somebody where, you know, like acting wise, like they're with you and they have your back and that they're not going to be like, what are you doing? Why aren't you reading what they said? exactly?" You know what I mean? Like, it's mm-hmm. yeah. it's nice to be able to have somebody that, you know, you can play with um, on screen. Yeah. So. That's always a big um, thing to have that chemistry, you know, because a lot of times you don't. And then it's like if you have that and you feel it and you're like, yeah, this is great. And then the show, you know, you shoot the show. It's great. Was you're this, thinking, oh, was this awesome. show was supposed to be funny? I, I don't know anything about it. I think it's a drama. No. It's like it's like True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm drama. sure there's a couple jokes here and there, but for the most part, it's like, you know, action drama, mm-hmm. dramedy, I guess. Dramedy. Overall, it, it was it, it apparently wasn't a hit, though, Mike. So unfortunately... This is going away, and if you're a fan, I'm so sorry for you. But you know what? It might come back one day. You never like Michael saying. Sometimes people fight for things, and they come back, and you're like, hell yeah! Five, you ten years, believe. maybe three months. You gotta believe, right? Just like that. <laughs> Parappa the rap, everybody. Rated show. I don't think it's coming back. 